It's absolutely exhausting and it's soul destroying. Plus, playtime for a London artist using plasticine for paint. A new exhibition of his work opens at Sotheby's. Good evening and welcome. Good luck to all our clubs this weekend and of course to all the marathon runners on Sunday. That's all the sport. It is a busy one, Sarah. Thanks Thank very you. much. Now, when you hear the word plasticine, you probably think of playtime, not contemporary art. But Henry Hudson has impressed the art establishment with his innovative use of it. And now Sotheby's is exhibiting his new work. One critic has said it looks more like oil paintings than oil paintings themselves. Wendy Harrell has more. Up close, the familiar furrows and colours of an oil painting with a similar composition and on a conventionally large canvas. But this is all plasticine. Ten works called The Rise and Fall of Young Sen, the Contemporary Artist's Progress, which are based on William Hogarth's A Rake's Progress, the tale of a young man's descent into vice and degradation. Those paintings were also a satirical comment on 18th century London. I like the visual narrative aspect of his paintings, and I, and I love the John Soe Museum. 250 years on, Henry Hudson is making his own observation of contemporary culture, an examination of our consumer excess made with a throwaway material. It was a cheap alternative to oil paint, but obviously, you know, it has that kind of theatre to it and that drama and that sort of, and, and also our relationship with it as children. Some have rendered his work gimmicky. This association with Sotheby's, though, will surely make critics think again almost sculpture, could be sort of etchings, drawings and oil. So um, technically, very difficult. And so a long, laborious process, three years in total, from his studio in Bethnal Green. I live in a Victorian shop, basically, on the Roman Road, and I live upstairs and my studio's downstairs. And so it was very intense for two years. I mean, I went quite mad. So it's a frenetic, modern-day narrative on a large scale, with intricate detail and marks left by the artist. And that's my heel, drunk one night, and then I've gouged out the faces. They will disturb from the S2 gallery walls until the end of May. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News. Right, let's get a check on the weather now with uh, Phil Avery. And Phil, it's been lovely, but I hear changes on the way. Yes, I noticed the past tense, and I hope you did too. Then it'll soften the disappointment. Today, 